Hello, hello there, everybody. Last two journals going in the shop. I have been on a journal binge making thingy. Um, <laughs> I've been binge making journals the way that people binge watch, like Netflix and stuff like that. I have, um, I've just had a really fun time and I've got new fabrics and I had some new elements to work with. So it just made fun, fun, fun. Uh, this is some fabric that Miss Trill sent me from New Zealand. I'm crazy about the fabric. I think it's so cool. And she actually sent me this as well, you guys. Um, and this is, I call this fairy tale because to me that's what, that's just really what it is. It, it's like a, you know, a, a princess and a prince and it's just very uh, mystical and intriguing and very beautiful. So let's go through, thank you Miss Trills, we appreciate it. Let's go through these journals. We have the kitty cat journal here. We're going to call this Cat with Flowers. Yeah, because that's what it is, right? It has a beaded spine on it. Of course, we have to say a big thanks to Miss R, who sent us some beads out of the blue, which we really needed. It has a really sweet kind of pearlescence closure on it. Of course, she is stuffed. Remember, we can use these journals as a book, or we can sit them on our desk and use them as a quickie file folder and we can just like flip right through here and find elements that we would like to play with. Or maybe this is your startup journal in the morning. Maybe this is your cool down journal in the evening. I think it makes a really sweet um, start or an end to the day, you know, to kind of book in your art day. Ideas to use a flow journal. You know, you can use them for art trading cards, art trading coin blanks. Uh, you can alter the elements that are in here. I always put you a little handmade book right here. You've got um, burlap elements. I really like this burlap because it's kind of juxtaposed, right? So you have the roughness of the burlap and the sweetness of the pearls right here. Polish text for you guys. We have um, all kinds of paper images. So whether it's paper from a magazine or a brochure or wrapping paper. This again is New Zealand wrapping paper. I tell you, they have, they have the thing going on with their <laughs> wrapping paper. It is absolutely exquisite. You'll have elements that are vintage in these books, whether they're text elements. This is the 1934 Iowa Housewives cookbook. I think it's fun to look through recipes and, you know, remember the things that maybe your mom made, your grandma made. My niece loves my biscuits. Now, I make uh, buttermilk biscuits, but I don't use buttermilk. I use milk with a bit of vinegar in it. Now, she's Russian, so she likes anything that has a pickled-ish, vinegar-ish kind of taste to it. Um, so when I get to go see her in December, then one of our big things to do is make biscuits and gravy, which is a lot of fun. She's a great little cook, um, but her fellow... It's kind of, um, he's not an experimental eater. We'll, we'll, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> but she is an experimental cook. She's just, um, she's an amazing human. Both of my nieces are amazing people. My sons are amazing people. My son, uh, my younger son was 33 this past week. His brother, who is 40, went to spend some time with him, which I thought was really super sweet. Anytime you guys see something that is stuck together with a paper clip, this is a curated collage piece. Elements that all go together. Now, they may be from different magazines, but they all go together. And it's a great little experimental piece if you've never played with collage before. It's a great way to get started on collage because... Like I said, this is curated. It all goes together. We've got some Alice in Wonderland illustrations in here for you. 
that were just a lot of fun. New papers because I went to Michael's and they had a sale and I was so excited. <laughs> I was really excited about that. Being able to get these new papers for you guys. Have a hauntingly happy Halloween. You got some skeleton imagery on the back. I love Halloween so we just use it all year round. Um, these are super cool. They are planet stickers and then we have stars right here so you can see how all the things in that pocket are going to work together in beautiful ways for you to create some sweet sweet art projects with um, baby imagery you know we got baby imagery here this is a baby astronaut and oddly he is holding what looks like an explosive rocket so yeah that was probably not thought through <laughs> I love this new paper, you guys, because it's got some gold highlights to it. I love maps, and I love especially maps that are from old encyclopedias or, or old dictionaries or old atlases or anything like that. This is a piece of eight by five and a half uh, automotive interior leather for you guys to make a um, a traveler's notebook with or just cut up and make into different things. We got a little bit kitty cat here from the calendar that my friends saved for me. We've got, of course, this is washi tape. You can pull that off and play with it. This is from our Ida greeting card collection. I call this salvage script. I love the notes. I love the cursive writing. I love the signatures. I love everything about it. More kitty cat imagery here. So you've got cardstock, you've got craft paper, you've got printed craft paper, you've got sprayed pieces, all kinds of things for you to just have fun with. Stickers, ABC stickers. Uh, I spoke in a previous video about my I Am meditations uh, based on the work of Neville Goddard. I am a fighter. I am intuitive. I am helpful. I am respected. I am uh, wacky. <laughs> so a lot of times you can use these ABCs to you know, to do your own kind of meditation. Another curated section for you guys here. Curated collage already done for you. I could not resist putting the New Zealand stamps in here as well. Beautiful imagery. Beautiful, beautiful. I want to go to there. I want to go to the New Zealand. I want to go to the Australia. <laughs> I want to go to the England. I want to go to the everywhere. This is, believe it or not, the packing tape that Miss Trills had on the package. And I thought, well, that is awesome. I really love that. Um, so we have things for you to um, pick apart, to play with, to play with the images, stickers, which are incredible, fabric swatches, embellishments, just things to play with. I also wanted to make the, uh, it's not really an announcement, but I have over 1,000 videos that I have posted to YouTube. So if you are looking for content, for crafty content over the holidays, please check out all my stuff on YouTube. I was like, I could not believe that I had done a 1,000 videos. Um, <laughs> It seems almost impossible that I have done that many, but it's, it's there in my statistics, so I guess it's got to be true. You guys know how much I love National Geographic, so we've got some super cool images from National Geographic. Um, I'm starting to use just envelopes that I get through the mail. Again, the ABCs are very, uh, are wonderful triggers for whatever you want to use them as. A little bit of Christmas for you guys. A little bit of, this is just some, I think it's upholstery from an upholstery catalog. I just thought it was really, really pretty. Coffee filters. These pockets are packed with stuff for you to play with. Origami paper.
I love this paper because it says have courage to be kind work hard dream big you are beautiful inside now you can cut these apart and make art trading cards or inspiration cards out of them a full-size napkin for y'all to play with the um the ink blots ink spots are are genuine <laughs> i made them just for you <laughs> I'm out of sprays. I have like three spray bottles and the rest of them are kind of dried up and crusted up. And I thought, well, I'll just, I'll just make us some ink blots out of them. And that's exactly what I did. And then Trill sent these along too. Aren't they sweet? Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. So there's our kitty cat. So let's take a look at our prince and princessa as my little Russian niece would call them. Show you the spine of the book. I think it's two inches. I think that these are the two inch spine books. I really love doing these bigger beads on the um, on this uh, binding cord that I've been using instead of embroidery floss. Quite frankly, I have orange embroidery floss and that's like about all of the embroidery floss that I have right now. You guys, when we went to New York in 2018 in December, I picked these, I, I picked up these Disney catalogs. I only picked up two because I, I have a um, thing about, I would never pick up more than two or three of something, you know, to use in flow journals because that just seems kind of, uh, I don't know what it seems like. I just don't do it. I, I, get just a couple things. I love this image. This is from a child craft encyclopedia about the things that people do. This guy is a court stenographer. I just thought that the, um, the, the little element that says get away was really super cool. I like the illustrations. We have, um, some Jap Japanese geisha girls here. This is from the Ida collection. Parts of greeting cards. Little birdies here. Today we'll find. Today I will find the beauty. This is some vintage ribbon. Again from New Zealand. They got the best stuff. <laughs> They got nice people. <laughs> I love, um, you guys know how much I love food imagery. So elements from the Titanic, you guys. Uh, this is from, oh gosh, whenever they found the Titanic, uh, from National Geographic. Just thought so cool illustrations. A little bit of Italy. Hmm, Italy. Seems like eons ago. It was just last year. This is the captain and the first mate from the Titanic. A little bit of Polish script for you. One of my favorite things to eat is lobster. And I don't remember the last time I had it. It's been a while back. And sushi. I love sushi. What do you like to eat? Oh, these little images. This is a little bingo card. This is New York M Municipal Railway. Oh, acetate piece. Crown. Feather. I like all of this. Again, this is a curated stack. Okay? So it's a curated collage right there. All of that goes together. We've got tags to play with. Salvage script, food elements, eyeball, a vintage Jeep Cherokee. I miss my Jeep. Uh, more of the Titanic imagery from National Geographic. I'll fold out that piece. No bad days. I love all of this. These are crystal stickers.
love this handwriting. Again, from the Ida collection. The Ida collection is a collection of greeting cards that we received from Miss R, which are just, I can't even say enough about them. They're just amazing. I have a little bit of pattern paper here and um, guitar stickers, llama stickers, planet stickers. The word gather is back here. You've got all kinds of things to play with. There are also vintage papers like stuck behind these pockets. These make great, great gifts for any artsy person or any non-artsy person. They're just fun to read and look at. They'd be great for a coffee table book. Like, what's that? Oh, that's called a flow journal. That girl named Tammy Brackett makes them, and she just puts stuff in a book, and it's, like, fun to look at and play with. Of course, I'm not the inventor of flow journals. Flow journaling is invented by Rosemary um, Morris, who is, she's the diva. She's the guru um, of flow journaling. And this is the last pocket here. Another curated collage collection for you. And a little butterfly right there. Okay, my friends, I'm going to put these in the shop. And then I'll go and I'll start on my next batch of binge making journals. The reason that I'm making so many journals, you guys, is in December, I am house-sitting at my sister's house. I will not have my supplies with me. I do not know quite what I'm going to do for the month of December. Um, I don't even know if flow journals will be coming out of my shop in December. Uh, so I'm just trying to make a good many right now before December hits. Okay, thanks y'all. See you soon. Bye.